Today on the Daily Dose, Marbury v. Madison. In a case of blatant court packing, two months before incoming President Thomas Jefferson was slated to take office, outgoing President John Adams asked his Secretary of State and close advisor John Marshall to fill a vacant seat on the U.S. Supreme Court after Chief Justice Oliver Ellsworth stepped down over health concerns. While such important dual roles in American governance would be seen as a serious conflict of interest in today's world, a week after his nomination by Adams, the U.S. Senate unanimously confirmed Marshall's appointment to the top spot on the Supreme Court, followed by more political court packing when Adams nominated 42 men to serve as justices of the peace just one day before Jefferson's inauguration. Unable to juggle the demands of both jobs effectively, Marshall left four commissions unfulfilled, including one belonging to Virginia politician William Marbury. When Jefferson took office, the enraged president instructed his new Secretary of State James Madison to withhold all four undelivered commissions. At a time when the power of the Supreme Court had yet to be fully defined. Marbury bypassed the lower courts by petitioning the nation's highest court for a writ of mandamus, which is a court decree ordering government officials to properly complete their unfulfilled duties. Lacking even a building of its own, on February 10, 1803, the Supreme Court convened in a basement room in the U.S. Capitol, where Attorney General Levi Lincoln Sr represented the Jefferson administration, while outgoing Attorney General Charles Lee advocated for Marbury, both sides attempting to flesh out three primary questions. Did Marbury and the other judges have a right to their commissions? Had their rights been violated? And did the U.S. Supreme Court have the right and authority to remedy the problem? Drawing from portions of the Judicial Act of 1789, The Supreme Court's decision, penned by Marshall himself, found that Marbury's rights had been violated by Jefferson, despite the fact that all four men had been confirmed and affixed with seals, further affirming that Marbury had the right to sue and seek legal remedy in court, while a federal judge had the power to issue a writ ordering Jefferson to comply with the court's decision. The court's ruling was immediately recognized by a young nation as a fundamental moment in American jurisprudence, establishing the Supreme Court's authority over other branches of government in its power to interpret national and constitutional laws, making Marbury v. Madison an undisputed turning point in the authority of federal courts. And there you have it, Marbury v. Madison, today on The Daily Dose. If you enjoyed this short educational video, consider giving the filmmakers a YouTube super thanks from as little as a dollar so that you too can feed the filmmakers who feed your brain.